it's not often that a fighter on a three-fight, 18-month losing streak is a 5-1 to one favorite, but Holly Holm proved Saturday in Singapore during her fight with Beta Korea that the odds makers knew what they were doing. Holm won her first bout since her memorable November 14, 2015, knockout of then unbeaten Ronda Rousey by catching Correa with a brutal kick to the head Saturday at 1.09 of the third round in Singapore. After blowing out Rousey to win the women's bantamweight title at UFC 193 in Australia, Holm was choked out by Misha Tate at UFC 196, outstruck by Valentina Shevchenko on Fox and then lost a close featherweight title bout to Jermaine Durand Amy at UFC 208 in February. She entered Saturday's bout in desperate need of a victory and, despite the crowd's boos for much of the way, she got it emphatically. We heard a lot of boos, but what I wanted to do was make it as clean as I could, Holm said. The pace was slow as the fighters spent much of the first two rounds sizing each other up, cautiously circling the cage and not throwing many strikes. It was so bad that at one point late in the second round, referee Mark Goddard stopped the action and said, I respect the game plan, but you have to make something happen. Holm did shortly after that. She fainted in Korea a bit on it. Instantly, Holm fired a head kick and caught Korea with her shin to the side of the face. Correa went down immediately and Holm landed a left hand before Goddard stopped it. Correa, who entered the fight ranked number 11, had done much pre-fight talking, but she couldn't back it up against the fifth-ranked Holm. Correa landed 15 of 65 significant strikes and 21 of 71 overall strikes. Nothing she did caused Holm any problem. Holm wasn't sure what her plans moving forward might be. I'm going to enjoy this, she said. I want to enjoy this victory because it's been a year and a half since I got to do a backflip in here.